The Tin Flute, originally published as Bonheur d'Occasion or Secondhand Happiness, is a novel written by Gabriel Roy in 1945. Set in Montreal during World War II, it revolves around the life of Florentine Lacoste, a poverty-stricken waitress. Florentine's family, consisting of herself and 11 siblings, constantly struggles to find employment, pushing them into dire circumstances. The severity of their poverty reaches a point where basic necessities, like shoes, become unaffordable, and education becomes a distant dream. Tragedy strikes when Florentine's brother Daniel is diagnosed with leukemia, and the family finds themselves unable to afford his treatment. Despite her meager wages, Florentine works tirelessly to provide for her family's survival. Roy skillfully depicts the struggles of Florentine's family, highlighting the broader societal context of poverty and unjust suffering during World War II. Despite these challenges, individuals like Florentine strive to create opportunities for themselves, hoping to break free from their impoverished existence and ascend to the middle class. Early in the novel, Florentine encounters Jean Levesque, a man she meets while working long shifts at the diner. Jean captivates Florentine with his ambitious goal of becoming a skilled mechanic, which he sees as a means to escape the cycle of poverty in their neighborhood, St. Henri. While pursuing his studies, Jean works at a factory manufacturing war supplies. He equates success with the affluent neighborhood of Westmount, situated on a hill overlooking St. Henri. Jean dreams of one day residing there, looking down upon the place he rose from. He envisions bringing Florentine into this dream and asks her out on a date, however, before their planned meeting, Jean has second thoughts and fails to contact Florentine. Disheartened and feeling worthless, Florentine arrives at their designated meeting place only to discover that he has abandoned her. Meanwhile, Jean reunites with his friend Emmanuel, who has recently returned from the war. Jean suggests that Emmanuel should meet Florentine but decides to ask her out himself instead. In the subsequent events, Florentine and Jean go on a date at an upscale restaurant, where Florentine's lack of dining etiquette embarrasses Jean. Convinced that she lacks the qualities needed to escape poverty, Jean decides to end their relationship. To solidify his decision, he introduces Florentine to his friend Emmanuel at the diner. Although Florentine remains infatuated with Jean, her primary interest is to provoke jealousy in him. As a result, she pretends to be interested in Emmanuel. Emmanuel invites Jean to a party at his home, which Florentine attends in the hope of encountering Jean. Meanwhile, Florentine's father, Azarius Lacoste, secretly borrows a truck from his workplace and surprises the family with a trip to their former home. However, Florentine decides to stay behind, intending to pursue Jean. During the family's visit, Florentine's mother, Rosanna, becomes disheartened upon seeing the healthier appearance of their extended family compared to her own children. On the journey back, Azarius causes a car accident and loses his job due to unauthorized truck usage and the subsequent crash. I in the midst of these events, Florentine invites Jean for dinner, hoping to rekindle their relationship. Tragically, Jean takes advantage of Florentine's vulnerability and rapes her. Weeks later, Florentine discovers she is pregnant with Jean's child. With limited options, she reluctantly decides to marry Emmanuel for financial support knowing that he and her unborn child depend on it. Florentine expresses her desire for Emmanuel to propose, and he eagerly does so. To protect her reputation, she presents the baby as Emmanuel's, never revealing the truth about its paternity. As the novel concludes, Florentine is filled with disappointment regarding the course her life has taken. In her deep reflection, Florentine comes to a painful realization that her pursuit of financial stability and social security through marriage has closed off other potential paths in her life. She recognizes that in her desperation, she sacrificed the possibility of marrying her true love, Jean, who has always held a special place in her heart. Regret fills her as she contemplates the missed opportunity and the limitations she imposed on her own happiness. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.